I call the Honourable Jenny Salisa. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker, for this call on the general debate. And I'd like to first of all congratulate the Minister of Finance, the Honourable Grant Robertson, for the budget 2018 that has just been passed. Madam Speaker, one of the um, earlier speakers from the opposite side of the House said that we are apparently a don't worry, be happy government. I absolutely refute that we are a don't worry, be happy government. We are absolutely doing a lot. The do nothing um, approach, especially to housing, was what the previous government did. They just sat on the side, did nothing, and hoped that the market somehow would fix the housing crisis. We are a government that is moving at great pace to address a whole lot of issues that we inherited. In terms of housing, we came in, we inherited a national housing crisis. And Madam Speaker, we are building houses. We are going to be building 6,400 state houses, Madam Speaker, over the next four years. One of the first things we did over the first few months of our government was we stopped the sell-off of state houses. During the middle of the housing crisis, the previous government kept on selling off state houses. Makes absolutely no sense, Madam, Madam Speaker, to keep on selling off state houses. They sold off over 6,000 state houses in the middle of a housing crisis. We came in and we found out that we are short not just a few thousand, we are short 71,000 houses in all of Aotearoa, New Zealand. 71,000 houses. We're short in Auckland, our largest city, by 45,000 houses, Madam Speaker. It doesn't take just nine, 10 months to build up 71,000 houses. So we stopped that right away, Madam Speaker, within our first few months. Aotearoa, New Zealand, according to the OECD, another thing we inherited from the previous government, we're number one in the rate of homelessness when compared to the other OECD countries. No thanks to the previous government. So, instead of selling off state houses, we're building state houses. In the last budget, we put aside $234 million to build 6,400 extra state houses. Madam Speaker, we also put aside for winter payment $100 million because the sad thing is, Madam Speaker, because we have such a high rate of homelessness, there are things that we need to do in terms of emergency housing, transitional housing, before we can actually put all of these thousands of our families, thousands of our whanau into houses, Madam Speaker. We are a country that are caring and compassionate. Everyone has a right to have a house over, a roof over their heads, Madam Speaker. And I'm glad to say that I'm in a government that has housing as one of our number one. Madam Speaker, we put aside $169 million for transitional houses. That's 2,155 transitional housing places. And Madam Speaker, Kiwi build um, homes, Madam Speaker. We are in a country where 60 years ago, in terms of home ownership. If you had a professional job, say for instance you were a teacher, married to a nurse for instance, you would be able to, working full time, be able to afford, you, you could save and, and then actually deposit a house and, and move, for, not you Madam Speaker, I'm sorry, um, professional folks out there. But Madam Speaker, the, the reality is that for 60, in, in 60 years, we're now at the lowest um, rate of home ownership. And Madam Speaker, that is one of the reasons why we as a government, we are not a do nothing government and hope that the housing market somehow will right itself. No, we've come in and we've said, we need to address this. We've put aside over $2 billion for Kiwi Build Homes. And Madam Speaker, we'll be building 1,000 Kiwi Build Homes this year. 5,000 next year and 10,000 the year after. And Madam Speaker, the other thing that we also inherited from the previous government was a lack of skilled people. When we came in, we know now that we are short by 30,000 skilled people in building and construction. But Madam Speaker, this is an issue that industry and Auckland Council sat down in 2011 and 2012. They actually came up with a detailed report, presented it to the minister at the time, and they said, we predict that if you do nothing, you are going to be short by 32,000 skilled people by 2018. Guess what? We are short by 30,000 skilled people today. As a government, we are doing something about that. Nine ministers with nine ministries, we're actually making sure that we train up our own people so that we can build up our own houses in Aotearoa, New Zealand. In the short term, we're looking at overseas skilled people, but in the long term, we must train our own to build up our own country. Thank you, Madam Speaker. 
I call the Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Oh, Madam Speaker, there was a speech that would give warmth to...